another more with Moro's video. So today's video format is going to be a little bit different. You guys can tell we are going to be doing a Trader Joe's haul. Just got back from Trader Joe's. You guys saw me lay out all of the food, but today is going to be different because instead of just showing you guys everything, I am going to basically hold everything up and show you guys that way. So you guys will have to let me know which way you prefer, which way you like better. Do you like face to face, it's more personal, or do you just want to see the food? You don't really care to see my face. Either way, just let me know. It's not gonna offend me. I just wanna know what you guys like and prefer, and also to kind of switch things up because I feel like every time I do a grocery haul, I just show you everything, and sometimes it's good to talk face to face or face to camera. In your guys' case, it's screen to video. Either way, it's a little bit more personable and sometimes I just like to switch things up. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I spent a total of $269.33 and I got a lot of my basic stuff that I love and then I also got some new stuff that I'm excited to try as well. So let's jump right in. Also currently Fletcher is playing outside, but he likes to come in and out all the time as well as the dogs. They're playing outside right now. So you guys are probably going to hear some background noise per usual. That is just my life. So I did grab some flowers this time. The last couple times I've been, I've not got any flowers and I've been a little disappointed in myself because I personally love flowers so much and Trader Joe's has the most gorgeous flowers. If you guys have ever walked into a Trader Joe's, they are just like a whole wall lined of flowers. So I got this bouquet actually that I'm going to put in my glass vase that I have on my island. So many pretty fall colors and beautiful flowers in there. I really like this dark one that's right there in the middle. And then I also got some eucalyptus. They had two different kinds. They have like the ones that are bigger leaves. I got this one because I'm actually going to hang it in the shower. You guys know we have been sick, we've had colds. I'm, now I'm realizing I should have got one for the kids' bathroom too. Maybe I can separate it and put a couple in the kids' bathroom, but I'm basically just going to tie it to the shower and it's going to make your bathroom smell amazing. It's good just for like aromatherapy and just breathing in like eucalyptus is one of my favorite scents ever. And you just hang it in your shower and the steam and the warm water makes it smell amazing. So I got those. I did pick myself up a bottle of wine. This is my favorite red wine. If you also love red wines, it's a little bit more expensive. If you want to try it, I definitely recommend it. It's called Juggernaut. It's Hillside Cabernet. I love this one. I did get some mini flour tortillas. The last couple times that we've been to Trader Joe's, I have gotten the carne asada, which is their thinly sliced beef. I know I've talked about this so many times, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but this, it makes the best carne asada tacos with a little cilantro and onion and lime. I'm telling you guys, it's good. Not only did I get one, but I got two of those. And I also got, where is it? It's the Spanish style rice. I don't think I've ever seen this at Trader Joe's. I'm not sure if it's a new product or not, but I got this as a side to go with that dinner meal. It says it has two microwavable pouches. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna try it and see if I like it and I'll let you guys know. So I got the mini flour tortillas for that. And then I also got some ground turkey. I think I'm gonna make some chili with this. And then I haven't tried this yet. It is called Bol Koki. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I first thought it was bulgogi, which is a Korean like traditional dish that they make and I love it so much, but it's called Bol Koki. So hopefully I'm saying that right. But it is a Korean inspired sesame marinated boneless beef ribs. This looked really good, sounded really good. I'm excited to try it. And then also another staple that we've gotten the last couple times is this barbecue teriyaki chicken. Guys, this is so good. What we usually do is we cook it with fried rice, the vegetable fried rice, add this on top, put a little sriracha, even some sesame seeds. It is really, really good. And then I haven't tried their sweet potato gnocchi. I've gotten the stuffed gnocchi and I think the regular one before. I've tried two, I know that. Um, but I have not tried their sweet potato one, so again, excited to try this and I did get two packs of chicken thighs I'm not really sure what I'm going to make with this yet um, either Mississippi pot rolls or I have like this other recipe that I like to make it's just basically a whole bunch of spices and we put it in the air fryer so we'll see I'm not sure yet but got two packs of those I'm trying to go ahead and show you guys the frozen stuff really quick because my battery is blinking and I'm gonna charge it a little bit and then show you guys the non refrigerated stuff so hopefully I can get through this part I feel like I never charge my battery um, but I did get some more French green beans these are really good to saute with some garlic fresh garlic minced garlic any kind of garlic even garlic powder 
butter with some salt and pepper, olive oil. Really, really good as a side dish for a dinner meal. So last time I tried their cilantro pot stickers or dumplings, one of the two, it was cilantro something. So this time I'm trying their chicken, I don't know how to say this, but their chicken pot stickers and I usually just put them in the air fryer, make my own little sauce and that's probably what I'm gonna do with these. It says it's dark chicken meat and vegetable dumplings. So again, sounds really good. <laughs> I'm gonna probably say that a lot in this video. And then I did get some cheese tortellini. This would probably be like an easy dinner meal. One of those nights that we just need to make a dinner really quick with like some garlic bread. I did get a jar of their tomato basil pasta sauce. This is probably one of my favorite pasta sauce. So we'll probably just make that with this, maybe like a salad or the green beans, garlic bread, and you got yourself an easy dinner meal. So this time I actually got the dogs a couple treats. I've never got any dog treats from there and I'm really excited to see if they like them or not. So I got these chicken tender, smoked chicken tender dog treats and then I guess like what their version of a greenie would be. So mint, a breast, bones and also some organic chicken and brown rice recipe sticks. It says puppy and dog treats. I think Georgia will really like these. And last but not least, some peanut butter and banana dog treats as well. So I got four different treats. So they're gonna be good. They're gonna be stocked up for a while. So I got them those. And then let's see, I got, ooh, you guys, I'm really excited about this one because it means Christmas and the holidays are coming. And last time I got their oat version of this but it is an eggnog non-dairy oat beverage and I loved using the oat one with my oatmeal. So I'm really excited to try this eggnog one. Um, probably could drink it on its own, but it also says you can add it to hot cereal, which is what I was doing, mix it with your coffee, or you can drink it straight up or spike it. So I'm really excited to try that. I don't think I've ever tried Trader Joe's eggnog. I don't know, that made me really excited, even though I'm still embracing all the fallness that's a new word, fallness. I'm just excited to get into the Christmas spirit. Also, speaking of non-dairy, I got two containers, cartons of their almond milk, unsweetened original for cereal. All right, so I charged it for a little bit. So crossing my fingers, I can finish the grocery haul without having to charge it again. So Aria, she requested some salads. She wanted to try their Caesar salad. She actually really, really likes salad. She's the only one of the kids that loves salad. And I got myself a mozzarella tomato in or mozzarella and tomato salad. I'm probably gonna have that right now because I have not had lunch yet. And then she also wanted the Pacific salad with chicken. And then I think I got one more salad. Oh yeah, it's underneath here. Classic Greek salad. Ooh, actually I might try that. I'm gonna have one of those salads though because it sounds so good. I did get a little bit of fruit. I got some cotton candy grapes from Harlow. She absolutely loves grapes. And then actually while we were there, Fletcher started not freaking out, but he obviously saw something that he liked and he was very interested in. And I, it took me a while to realize like what he was pointing at because he can't say strawberries. So then when I looked, I was like, oh, he wants strawberries. It's one of his favorite fruit. So I actually cut him up some that we already had in the refrigerator and he's eating some right now. But of course, got him another pack of strawberries. And then I got some oranges and cranberries. They actually had a ton of these whole cranberries. Uh-oh, did you drop one of your strawberries? Okay, hold on. Boy does not mess around with his strawberries. Like I was saying, they had cranberries everywhere. I only get cranberries to do the stove top poppery, popery. I feel like I always mispronounce it. I actually did a reel on Instagram how you can make it. It's so simple, but these are two of the ingredients. So I got four oranges, some cranberries, and then also four honey crisp apples. Fletcher also really, really likes apples. He loves fruit. He can eat so much of it. Bananas, watermelon, strawberries. He absolutely loves it. And then I did get the kids these low fat yogurt smoothies, one blueberry and one strawberry. So for my veggies, I always eye this every single time I go and I never get it. So this time I'm going to get it. I'm going to try it. And it's just an asparagus saute. It just has asparagus, onions, and mushroom. I figured this would be like a quick side. I can saute up for a dinner meal as well, or even for lunch. And then I also got some carrots. I always pick these up or 
most of the time I pick these up because these are really good roasted and also their baby broccolini sauteed with some olive oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic too if you want to. So I got a most of those with the intentions of making them as sides for some of our dinner meals. And then this was actually on their new or on their shelf of new stuff that they came out with. They also had this olive salad that I was so tempted to get, but I'm like, I just don't know what I would make it with other than sandwiches. So what you guys do would hear some of the dogs. Anyways, I saw this cookies and cream granola. I had to get it. I love my yogurt. You guys know that. And then maybe some of the kids will like it as well. So got that. And also some of these Scandinavian swimmers. So the kids love the original ones over the summer. I was actually surprised. I don't know if they always have them. I thought it was just a summer thing. So I was actually surprised to see that they still had these. But they also really like sour candies as well. All the kids do, maybe minus Fletcher. So they have it in a sour version as well. So I got them the sour super sour Scandinavian swimmer gummies. So a while back, one of Aria's friends went to Trader Joe's and supposedly their version of Takis, they have discontinued, which is so sad because I actually really like those and Aria really liked them too. So I saw that they had instant ramen Yay! soup and Aria also really, really likes ramen. So I just got her one because I wasn't sure if she was gonna like it or not. So this one is a spicy miso, which Aria also likes really spicy stuff as well. So we'll see if she likes it I'll try it too and see if I like it and I'll go pick up some more the next time I go and then I did get some pumpkin pancake and waffle mix I don't remember seeing this the last time I was there when I was getting all my fall stuff and this was also a request from Aria and then their Jojo's which is basically like their version of an Oreo it's a chocolate vanilla cream sandwich cookie so I picked up a pack of those and then I did get two different kinds of tomato soup I can't remember if I've tried this one or not I have tried their organic creamy tomato soup which you guys need to try on those super cold fall or even winter nights with some grilled cheese put a little bit of parmesan and some basil you guys it is amazing definitely try it if you like tomato soup i feel like i've tried this before but it's just their tomato feta soup see i'm almost done guys i'm almost done what have i not shown yet oh bananas i'm gonna say this right now you cannot go to trader joe's without at least grabbing one of these mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups if you love Reese's or Reese's, however you say it, leave in the comments down below how do you say it because I've heard it both ways. Um, you have to try these. These are so good and addictive. That's why I only got one because I know if I get another one, I'm going to devour this one because I know I'll have a backup. So just got one of those. And also some white cheddar corn puffs for the kids. These are, I would say, kind of comparable to pirate booties. And the last time I was at Walmart, they did not have pirate booties. They were out of stock, so got a bag of these. I don't think the kids have tried these, but these caught my interest. Scarlett and Aria both love like the Cliff Bar granola bars. So I thought these were interesting to put in their lunches. It's their organic chocolate chip granola bites. And then I did pick myself up a few protein bars. I have not tried this flavor before. It's their honey cinnamon peanut butter. So it sounded really good. I got two of those. And then one bar of their vanilla oven. And then, oh, um, I forgot to say these are RX bars. It's not by Trader Joe's. But I got their vanilla almond. I've tried this one before. I really like it. And then I haven't tried these yet, but you guys know I really love built bars as my protein bars. So I'm really excited to try these and see if I like them. But they're called, or the brand is called Bear Bells. And this is the caramel cashew, and it has 20 grams of protein and no added sugar. So I'll let you guys know how I like those. And I think that is it. I think that's it. Did I miss anything? No, got that, got that, got that. So yeah, that is it for this Trader Joe's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Try to wrap this up quickly because I know Fletcher is gonna start screaming anytime now for some more strawberries. Um, but let me know how you guys liked the format of this video. If you guys like the more personal stuff and holding stuff up or do you not care at all or do you prefer just showing everything, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.